In the third session of his corruption trial, ousted President Omar al-Bashir gave his first statement to the judge and admitted receiving $25 million from Saudi Arabia's crown prince. Bashir said the money from Mohammed bin Salman was a personal gift and that none was spent personally, but given as donations. The judge denied his lawyer's request for release on bail. The judge also formally indicted Bashir of illicit financial gains and illegal possession of foreign currency. His team of more than 120 defense lawyers pleaded not guilty on his behalf. They've listened to the prosecutors, and now it's the turn of the defense. Now we have the chance to present all the evidence that show that all these charges are baseless and that will prove that the charges of illicit financial gains against the former president are not valid. Bashir was ousted by military leaders in early April after months of anti-government protests. They were sparked by rises in the price of bread and the poor state of the economy. Days after his overthrow, millions of dollars were allegedly found in Bashir's home. In a twist of fate, most of the laws that backed the charges against the former president were drafted during his 30 years in rule. And they were passed by the former head of parliament, Ahmed Ibrahim Al-Tahir, who is now head of Bashir's defense team. The most recent laws were included in a state of emergency Bashir declared in February when he banned anyone from possessing more than the equivalent of $3,000. Bashir was the only serving president to be indicted by the International Criminal Court for work crimes and genocide in the western region of Darfur. Some analysts say while there are reasons as to why Bashir would receive money from foreign leaders, the corruption charges are just a distraction from what he should really be prosecuted for. Whoever is, is putting up this uh, play, they are trying to deflect the attention of the public from serious issues that might uh, bring others who are already in power to trial. I mean, we know that the genocide has not been committed by Omar al-Bashir himself. And there are many others included in this scene. For now, prosecutors are painting a picture of a former president illegally receiving millions from a foreign government while his people suffered an economic crisis and dozens were killed demanding his removal from power. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum.